Hey y'all, Suze here. If you're looking for keto side dishes or keto snacks, this recipe is gonna be right up your alley. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make keto fried cauliflower bites. Thanks to Joe for the video suggestion request. I never knew I could love cauliflower so much as this deep fried cauliflower recipe. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already a member of the crew. We try to film these videos every single week. So to start with, I have about half a head of cauliflower that I already just sliced up and cut into little bite-sized pieces. Um, the easiest way to do this is just to kind of quarter your cauliflower, slice out the core, and then break and chop it apart. This is the other half of the cauliflower I have left over. So you can kind of see how I sliced it. And I'm just gonna stick this to the side while we go ahead and get started on our batter. So for that, in a small bowl, I have two large eggs and I'm adding in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and getting in there with a whisk. And we're just going to whisk this together until it's all scrambled up and it's just like a nice, even, creamy texture. There you go, sticking that to the side, grabbing a medium bowl, adding in a cup of almond flour. This is super fine almond flour. And I'm adding in a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now the recipe says to use fresh. I used your regular cheap shelf stable stuff and it worked fine. Adding in a teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth a teaspoon smoked paprika, and a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper to give it a little bit of spice. You could also add salt and pepper into this if you like, but I found it was plenty spiced and salted enough just from using that Parmesan cheese and I am just whisking this together until it's evenly distributed. Now we're gonna get set up by grabbing a baking sheet. I lined it with some nonstick foil. We're gonna use this to batter our cauliflower and then to put it on there before we fry it. So grabbing our cauliflower, getting lined up here. Now the original recipe that uh, we adapted is by Kirby Cravings, linked down below, and they recommend using a spoon, putting a little bit of your almond flour mixture on your baking sheet. And we're gonna take our florets and dip them into our egg wash really well. Make sure you get all of the excess off of it. And we spooned a little bit of that mixture onto our foil and we're just gonna press our cauliflower into it and then take the spoon and also cover it up. And then kind of just press that all the way in and I'm just gonna move it and stick it to a clean part of the baking sheet. And since we're gonna be deep frying this, we're just putting this here to prepare it. And I'm gonna show you how to do another one. And then once you get like comfortable with this, you can do a whole bunch at one time. Key is to just make sure you get all of the excess egg off of your cauliflower so that it's not making your crumb mixture clot up on you. So after I did these single ones, I just spread out a larger layer of the crumb mixture and I would do like five to six pieces at one time. It makes everything go a little bit faster that way. And here it is, after I had it all done, I just removed the excess crumb mixture off of our pan and put it back into the bowl. So you can see here, I really have enough to probably go ahead and do the other half of my cauliflower as well. So if you're only gonna do half of your cauliflower, you might decrease that by half. Now we're gonna be using this quiz Max deep fryer for our recipe today. This is the first time I've used it. It was actually gifted to me and it's a pretty large deep fryer. I have it set to 356 degrees just because that's the setting. I would normally use like 355 um, to fry stuff like this. If you don't have a deep fryer, you can totally do this in a pot on the stove. Um, because this one doesn't have an exposed element in the bottom of it, I went ahead and used lard to fill it up and get it to temperature, which is a keto-friendly fat. I would have used maybe peanut oil. I know peanut oil is not supposed to affect peanut allergic folks, but I still just don't take any chances and have a peanut allergic baby, so. Just putting a third of my cauliflower mixture in the deep fryer, and I like to pull the lid down on it before I drop the basket, just to make sure you don't get any splatter back on you. And I actually did exactly three minutes, and it came out perfectly each batch each time bringing it up in the baskets. You can see how nice and golden brown that is. Nice and crunchy on the outside. The cauliflower is nice and soft on the inside. Oh my gosh, thank you, Joe, for suggesting this. I really would have never thought that I would like uh, keto cauliflower bites or keto cauliflower wings, like some people refer to them. But oh my gosh, this was so, so good. So I'm just showing you, I did this with all three batches, dumped them into a bowl with some paper towels to just soak up that excess grease. and then I'm I'm gonna plate them up. And to do that, I just mix together a little sauce with sour cream and some hot buffalo 
sauce and just mix that together in a little ramekin and dipped this in nuts. And I, you know, I tasted a couple pieces without the sauce and these keto cauliflower bites were just as good without dipping them. But oh, that combination of the crispy crunch and the soft, yummy cauliflower on the inside, dipping it in that almost like a wing sauce. If I would have had blue cheese, I would have probably mixed some buffalo sauce with the blue cheese and tested that out as well. But I'm just telling you, I was never a fan of cauliflower before I started keto. And I know I eat cauliflower rice all the time. If you guys watch my weekly videos, you know I'm always cooking up some cauliflower rice and making loaded cauliflower rice. But I never thought of just deep frying cauliflower and just eating it like that. I never thought I would enjoy it. So really, really impressed with this recipe. We just adapted it slightly. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and uh, we'll be back next week. Bye y'all.